Hey guys, Ali here, hope you guys are all well. In today's video, I am in Bolton. This actually is the first time I've ever come to Bolton. I'm gonna film a few reviews, so hopefully I've got a few coming out, but the first place I'm gonna go to is one of the highest rated shawarma joints in Bolton. These guys are called Istanbul Shawarma. I've had quite a lot of requests for these guys. I went online, they look like they've got some really good reviews as well. So I thought I'd just nip by and grab myself a really, really quick shawarma. I'm actually gonna cut this intro a little bit short, guys, because I am very, very hungry on this lovely, lovely sunny day. Right, here we go guys. Istanbul shawarma. Let's see what it's saying. Right, I'm inside, I've had a really quick look at the menu. What I thought I'd do is I'd actually get a mixed shawarma. So a little bit of lamb shawarma, a little bit of chicken shawarma. With that, I've noticed they actually do pitayas as well, and I love a good pitaya. So I thought I'll try that as well. Why not? Pricing seems pretty reasonable, but honestly for me, pricing is so relative to the quality and taste of the food. So I'll wait for it to come out. I've ordered my food. As soon as it comes out, I'm gonna start that review. I mean, come on, let's keep it real for the price. That looks like a pretty good portion. A nice little selection of salad there as well. I love the addition of hummus. Good amount of meat. Right, so the first item has come out. This is a mixed shawarma with some chips and salad as well. And actually, a really good portion of salad there. A nice little amount of hummus. I wasn't expecting the hummus. I think that's a lovely touch. There looks like to be a good amount of meat there as well. The only thing left to do now is to taste it. I think what I'm gonna do is I'll go for the chicken one first. It looks like it's got a decent amount of meat to fat ratio going on there. You don't want it too lean. The fat adds a little bit of flavor. I'm gonna dip it into the hummus. That is super flavorful, quite juicy. It's got a good amount of moisture still in the meat. It's not dry at all. It's got actually, surprisingly, a little bit of a kick. I think it's flavored really, really well. I say the portion of chips on the side actually is a touch small now that I've had a little bit of a closer inspection. But for the price, I still think that's pretty good. Chicken shawarma, yeah, super tasty. I'm gonna move on to the lamb now because that's generally my preference. Moving on to these lamb shawarma. Just visually, guys, it looks good, man. It looks good. It looks meaty. It looks like good quality meat. What I may do, actually, after I've tried it, Oh, natural. I might add a little bit of chili sauce to it. Again, that's pretty tender. It's good on the bite. I think it's flavored well. The lamb has a little bit less seasoning than the chicken, but I think that's fair. I think that's what's needed. I think lamb has a much more distinct taste. You want that taste to come through. With the chicken, however, you want a heavy amount of seasoning. The lamb, a little bit less flavored, but absolutely delicious. I think I would probably get them as a mix the way I've done today because they're so different. Have a little bit of chicken and have a bit of lamb. Really, really quick interjection to the video. I've actually popped upstairs to go to the toilet. Don't know which camera I'm looking at. I'm not used to using my phone when I vlog, but lots of seating up here actually. There's a ton of seating. Looks really nice upstairs. I'm downstairs currently, but up here, to be honest, lighting on point. Should have come up here, but I just went to really, really quickly show this off. Anyway, let's get back to that review. Something I forgot to get is actually the naan. They're made in house. I may pick one up at the end of this review, I don't know. But before that, let's move on to the fataya. This is a chicken fataya. Again, looks fantastic. I think the portion size is really, really good. Good amount of cheese on there. A really good amount of meat on there. One thing actually, a little pet peeve. Please don't call fatayas like Arab pizza. It's not a pizza, it's its own dish. It deserves its own name, its own respect. It's like a folded piece of dough with some just delicious flavor combinations. It's nothing like a pizza. It's its own thing. Just a pet peeve of mine, to be honest. The fataya is massive. Really good amount of cheese on that. Really good amount of chicken. Super hot, super fresh. This looks really, really good. It smells fantastic as well. I'm loving the olives on the side. I'm gonna dip it into the chili sauce there. I love the actual base, the dough. Good amount of cheese there. The chicken shawarma is delicious. And then for putting it on here, I'm liking the chili sauce on the side as well. That looks fresh, it looks homemade, tasty. Look at that guys, super cheesy. There's a ton of meat going on there. Really hot, really fresh. Something I wasn't expecting actually, the garlic sauce on the side of the pitaya. I actually had it off camera because, you know, I just didn't think anything of it. Absolutely delicious. Try the garlic sauce, that gets a hey man. That is one of the better garlic sauces I have had anywhere. Delicious. Get the garlic sauce wherever you do. Dip this in the garlic and the chili sauce. Oh, perfect, perfect. I'm having such a good time in here. The food is delicious, pricing is good. They've got a little bit of seating as well. The customer service is good. Yo, this is, this is good. Whoever suggested this to me on Instagram, 
I've had quite a few, so I can't individually name you. Thank you, because this place is awesome. Guys, do you know any other really good shawarma places in Bolton? Because this place has set the bar really, really high. If you think you know a place, which is as good if not better than this let me know in the comments and i'll make sure to go all right so that does take me to the end of today's video as i left i realized they do like samoon which is what i tried at istanbul shawarma in bradford and i absolutely love i've had that before it's a really really lovely bread so if you see that on the menu get it if you see it here which is on the menu i don't know how i missed it do get it let me know in the comments how it is because i really wanted to try it if it's nice i'll go back but uh, oh yeah, that video for uh, Istanbul shawarma and Nusrat shawarma is actually going to be probably in the comments if you want to if you want to check that out. But yeah, bar set high. I'm actually going to go to another place now. I'm filming a few places in one day, and then I'm going to sort of split the videos up, put it out over maybe the course of one week. If you want to check those out, make sure you subscribe because new videos will be coming out every couple of days. I'd say content for Bolton, content for Oldham, for Bradford, for Manchester. So content, content, content all over the place. If you want to see more, subscribe like the the video like the can you like a channel like the channel like if you like the channel like the channel like <laughs> like as much as you can and i'll see you guys in that next video i can't do my normal bye 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 so you're gonna get one of these bye 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 bye